Well, Carla's doing some pretty nice moves. And we're actually getting cheers. Yeah, the other two are terrible, but that's because they have no fitness skill. Oh, a 250. That's pretty good. I wonder what the max is. Hi, this is Charity, and welcome back to Super Sim, a challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to get all of the skills maxed, earn all the degrees, complete all the aspirations, get top level in every career, and do everything you can do with a single sim. Well, Carla is still a vampire, and I am kind of worried because this don't drink without permission for 14 days in a row is not going up. And I'm not sure what to do about that other than leave this selected, which is kind of annoying because that means I can't work on other aspirations right now. Maybe I'll try that for just one day and see if it goes up. Unfortunately, I don't think that that will work. I think that it got messed up because last time I didn't have the focus on it when it scrolled over to 14. Maybe if I drink from a sim uncontrollably or actually just drink from a sim without permission, then it will reset the counter. Because I think the problem is, is that I've actually satisfied it and it glitched out. So, um, sorry, Butler, you just happen to be available, but we'll be nice and also restore his spirit. Wait, why do I have a horse Rosia treat in my inventory? It didn't use it? Okay, here's the retail store that I started so that I will have all of the collections available. Now, um, it seems like crystals cannot be left here. I can leave metals, but if I put a crystal for sale and then I sell the store, or if I even just leave the store while I still own it, for some reason they return to me, even if they're set for sale. Now the reason why I have done this is because, um, I, one, I don't have any more ambrosia. And so what you do is if you set up a retail store and then you sell the business, and you had ambrosia for sale, you can go buy it. And yes, it cost 6,000 simoleons, but for Carla, that does not matter. And then you can basically come back again and it will be restocked because the owners of the store is not you, so you don't have to restock it, but you can buy it. Now, I think the Plentiful Needs Potion actually restores my thirst, which is like the only thing that does. Oh, but it's only six simoleons. I should put a whole bunch of them for sale. The only thing is you can only buy one at a time and you have to leave the lot and come back in order for them to be restored. But this is a way to duplicate items without duplicato. All right, I, maybe I can buy a metal because I think Metals are also available to leave at the altar and to buy the rare ones. Okay, and then you go back home and then if I buy the store, I can actually put things in it. Well, when I bought the store, the stuff was not restocked, I guess because nobody else really owns this store. So what I'm going to do is just restock it myself. It's fine. I have enough money. Every time I restock something, I get 10 perk points. That's something. All right, my solution to not being able to buy the bronze thing is to put it in the store because then I could just buy it from here. So I got the task to deface the opponent's statue, but there's a whole bunch of people here. Will I get caught? No. Pretty much you can do this whenever you want. All right, and we're here at the Order of Enchantment. Now, what I've been doing basically is saving the weekend for these university organization events so hopefully that will help me get max level what happens if we give them a death flower probably the same thing as if you offer them any other harvestable okay we cannot tend to the sprites garden unfortunately because none of them really need tending the only thing we could do is uproot them and that's not good maybe viewing it will count i don't remember if viewing it counts or not no, that really doesn't count. And it's pretty easy to become a seasoned member of the Order of Enchantment. Let's see if doing Gift of Solani counts to tending the garden. No, that didn't really help. Even though it used 
my power. I don't want to uproot it. I just want to tend the garden. And there's no option because everything is out of season. Except for this wild daisy bush. I don't think they'll be too happy if I uproot their plants. Well, let's see what happens when I uproot one of the plants. Um, that doesn't count as tending the garden. I tried placing something in the world, but it will not let me plant it if it's not on the lot. The only one in season right now is the chrysanthemum. Harvesting also doesn't count as tending to the garden. Okay, I guess I actually have to water it or weed it? That is so annoying. Okay, do I want Carla to be a maker? They do not receive negative effects from crafting or repair failures, but she's never going to have a crafting or repair failure. And she's going to get sad if she doesn't make things on the candle making station, the fabricator, the juice fizzer, or the woodworking table. Oh, makers can handle a fabricator attack without getting dazed. All right, well... I mean, I don't really see a whole lot of things that are beneficial, so we're, we'll go ahead and take this one. Just because I know fabricator attacks happen, even if you're max level, so I will take that one. All right, so we have Maker, Kleptomaniac, Geek, Nosy, and Overachiever. Like I said, I think the only one that I really want is Genius, and... I think it's because it provides a small benefit every once in a while when you're taking a shower. Um, but it's really not that important. I think we'll get that if we're working on a lot of mental skills. Well, we have Claude Renee's spirit fading away. That might not be a good thing. Although I have found that the game will replace certain NPCs if you get rid of them. For example, I think I deleted Baby Ariel because I didn't want a teen who was going to be a teen forever. And the game made a new one, but it wasn't Baby Ariel. It was a different name. It was Hajar Siddiqui. She's a teen and she, she's not a global superstar. She's a proper celebrity. But I cannot invite her to come over and... I had to plan a stay over to even meet her. And then once I met her, I could not age her up. The game would not allow it. So I think that confirms my suspicion as to why baby Ariel was made a sim that cannot age is because the game is required to have a celebrity teenager in it. And Basically, it gives that teenager the property that they will never age. And it doesn't have to be Baby Ariel because that other lady is definitely not Baby Ariel. All right, here is Ghidri's urn. Maybe I should collect it and strengthen his connection. I'm not sure if the game will create another Ghidri. It might. I don't have the option to put it in my inventory. Although I can just drag it into my inventory. Okay. Well, I have Ghidri's urn. And I'm going to introduce myself to Kathy. And the thing is, though, Kathy, unfortunately, is an elder. She's probably going to pass away soon. But I would like to know her. I also did not get graduation. And I think the reason for that is that there is a Starlight Accolades at 6 p.m. every Sunday night due to the fact that I have Get Famous in my game. So maybe that is conflicting with high school years. I saw a lot of other people having bug reports that they didn't get graduation as well. So I don't know. It could also be that I joined university and because I did that that canceled any hope of graduation that I was going to have so unfortunately Carla did not get to give her graduation speech okay we'll also introduce ourselves to mom or the ghost of a mom and dad because basically they are going to be in the game pretty much forever uh, mom is a ghost, so therefore immortal. And then 
Dad is actually Father Christmas. So he has a trait that makes him not able to die. He's an elder and he's been an elder for a long time and he's still around. Okay, we also know Renee, even though we don't have the greatest relationship with her, but that's okay. We have two versions of Renee and we have one other version of Carla. I think she went inside. I have not knocked on the door, so. This is basically the family that we disassociated ourselves with because I was trying to get one of the teenager aspirations done. So I basically deleted all of the adults in the game that Carla knew, including her family. But then I reloaded her family into the game. They are just no longer related to her, which actually might be better for performance because Carla is going to have an extensive genealogy as it is. And I went through so many steps to create this sim that she was already about 10 levels deep into the genealogy tree. And so, yeah, we, we did not need to have more things attached to her family tree. Well, I have definitely not drank without permission for another day and pretty sure that I have done this 14 days in a row and it's not counting anymore. So guess I'm going to have to just cheat this one because unfortunately it's not advancing. And if I switch back and forth between the master vampire, that one does go up. Oh, look at that! We finished the good vampire aspiration! Alright, well, I am not going to cheat like that unless it is an obvious bug. I actually had that done quite a long time ago. And, oh, you get the cure? Drink to cure vampirism. Okay. Uh, so they gave me a cure in my inventory. I don't know where I got that from. I think maybe from completing the aspiration. Now it doesn't have a timer on it, so I don't know if it goes off. So what I'm going to do though is put it in my household inventory. Oh, I can't. I can only sell it. I cannot put it in my household inventory. All right, well, I'm going to put it in this box over here and hope it does not expire. Here's a little tip for things that do expire is that if you put them in your household inventory, then they won't go bad and you can save them until you need them. <laughs> but uh, that one will not go in the household inventory. So I'm going, I'm going to see if I can put it in the shop later on and have a purchasable cure for vampirism, which is kind of interesting. Okay, I don't know if we have time to reach the peak of Mount Kumarabi. That is going to take a while. Maybe we should do that um, either overnight when I have a lot of time or on the weekend. So we're going to try performing high intensity skiing or snowboarding on an intermediate or expert slope. Well, we don't have high enough skiing level to go skiing on the intermediate slope, so we just have to get some skill first. All right, that's our high intensity skiing on the intermediate slope. We can't go up Mount Kumarabi though. We have to go to school. In order to debate certain topics, you have to conduct the proper research first. So I don't know if that only counts for one debate or if you can always debate those topics after you research them. Okay, so we should try to win a debate. I think they're having it over here. Can I try? Okay, apparently I cannot because they're taking up the debate podium. Stuart! No, Stuart, I am not going to the motive trials for you. I am busy at a college debate party. All right, well, I don't like the fact that there's only one place to debate over here. Maybe I could add another debate thing so that I can debate as well as them. There should also be a TV in here. All right, now two people can have a debate. I know that's kind of cheating, but hey, I want to have a debate, and they went up there immediately. We also need to watch the news channel on TV. So guess what? There's a TV over here now. And we won the debate. 
At least there are a couple of Art Society members here. There sometimes isn't any of the club members here when I come to the bar night for some reason. Oh, you can just ask random people about inspiration. You don't have to actually talk to the Art Society members. I'm gaining reputation way too quickly. I have to constantly tell people to badmouth me. What if I just started using my vampire powers everywhere? Will that make everybody hate me? Well, at least it does get me vampire experience, and I need to work my way up the ranks of vampires. So, hey. I think draining life spirit actually doesn't make people react negatively. I mean, they're reacting negatively to me, but only because I am hissing. I don't think it's because I'm drinking someone else's plasma. And maybe I should just compel for a deep drink. Okay, yeah, they seem to react more negatively to that. But draining the life spirit actually wipes a Sim's memory. So I think that that doesn't make people react negatively. Maybe draining spirit didn't reset my don't drink without someone else's permission. And I could have probably done that without cheating, but hey, I... I don't want to bother with it anymore, so I kind of just cheated that one. Okay, today is exam day. So it should be the last day of class, and we should have completed at least one semester or term of university. So I have my aspirations set to academic, and the reason for this is I want to get the finish a course with an A grade task done. And then attend guest lectures. I think we're going to have to look for some time where the guest lecture is available. I'm not sure what times they are, but hopefully after the second class we can get it done. Okay, the guest lectures are between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. We can sit in on a skills class, though, and I think... Yeah, there's a way to get a mixology certificate, and I can't remember how. Okay, you have to sit in on the mixology skill class, but you have to do this 10 times? That's a lot. Well, it's going to be easy to reach the top of the mixology skill. I'm already level 9. Carla found it difficult to focus in mixology class today, but it still feels it was a valuable use of time. Okay, what time do I have class? See, class in two days, 20 hours. I don't think I have any society events going on. Oh, I do have a debate thing at 4 p.m. So I can keep attending classes until 4 p.m. Okay, I have mastered the mixology skill. Okay, why can I no longer sit in on a mixology skill class? Is it because I am max level? Oh, that's no, that's not good. No, I can't sit in on the skill class anymore. I'm going to have to cheat her level down <laughs> so that she can go to the skill class. Oh, this stinks. I don't have the certificate. Well, that's a bug. I can't sit in on a skill class if I'm already max skill. <laughs> okay. All right. That is it. That is the reason why I can't sit in on the skill class is I reset her to skill level one so that I can take the stupid class now. If you reach level 10, you should either be able to continue taking classes or you should get your certificate. It does not make sense that you cannot take classes anymore to get the certificate because you're max skill, and yet you do not have the mixology certificate. It, it's just stupid. Although I do see that that would be a shortcut to get the certificate, is just to level up your mixology skill to level 9 and then take a skill class. Although if you leveled up to level 10, how would you take the class to get their certificate? Well, you should still be able to take the class even if you're max skill. Yeah, taking one class gets me to level three. Carla just had an insightful mixology class and looks forward to finding real world applications.
All right, I think that was three classes, so I have to take seven more classes. She's going to max out mixology again, and I'm going to have to cheat it down to level one again. This is the problem with having a super sim. It's actually impossible to get that certificate because there's no way, even starting at level one, that I would be able to take 10 classes without reaching level 10. It's just not possible. Okay, final grades. We got an A plus all around. So that's what I wanted. And yes, we're going to sign up for another term. I wonder if you can get the certificate by taking the electives. I don't think so. You can take an elective for veterinary procedures. Okay, we may have to do some of the electives, but probably later. The only problem is if you sign up for four classes, they don't allow you to take an elective. I have the time. You should let me take as many classes as I can take. Time to do all of the homework. Oh, Thunder has aged up and become an adult horse. I'm not sure that I'll have time to train Thunder. Where are you, Thunder? There you are. Okay, it's Friday. We're catching up on the homework for the classes that we just attended. And we also have the high school cheerleading competition today and lots of events going on. So I'm not sure exactly what we want to do. I think maybe we'll try to attend some of the events and we don't have any more classes yet today. Oh, and for some reason I have another ranch hand. I don't know why there's two of them now. It seems like they also never leave and they're always labeled as a ranch hand. Well, I guess that's more food for Carla. Oh, paparazzi, you have thwarted my attempt to drain your plasma, so therefore, have a sprite attack. All right, time to head to the festival and see if we can get this to work. No. Okay, I thought that was Stuart, but no, it's Sion. He has a similar hairstyle, and I every time I see him, I think he's Stuart, but no, Stuart is over here. He's still a teen. We do have a competition judge. Hopefully the competition judge stays here. All right, I think we're going to perform a group cheerleading team, but it looks like, okay, my uh, ranch hand, or one of my ranch hands was the, one of the only people that would come with me. I don't know why. I can only get these two to come with me to this event and no one else was available to be chosen. Well, Carla's doing some pretty nice moves. And we're actually getting cheers. Yeah, the other two are terrible, but that's because they have no fitness skill. Oh, a 250. That's pretty good. I wonder what the max is. Oh, what an amazing cheerleading routine. That This is the best so far. Okay. Carla looks pretty bored, though. Well, the competition judge is not doing his normal speech at 8 a.m. Yeah, sorry. Um, I'm having a snack. Okay, at 9 p.m. he is doing his announcement. This is different than all the other fairs. All the other fairs, the announcement started around 7 a.m. Or, sorry, 7 p.m. And then he quit. And he went to go get a snack. Interesting. And they keep clapping for some reason, but I don't know why. All right. Competition judge is going to go perform a cheer. I don't know. These things are so messed up. I think he was about to announce the winner at the podium, but he decided not to. I'll just have to wait until 10 p.m. and the thing is over. Well, I don't... Oh, congratulations. Carla was placed in first. Carla must have had some great fitness skill. Congrats. All right. Well... There you go. You can win the cheerleading competition even if you're not a high school student. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. All right, I have maxed out the activity and we are no longer getting credit for it. So we've basically become a senior member of the Order of Enchantment. And now they're all listening to me sing for some reason. Well, luckily, debate is fun. So the next thing that happens tomorrow morning is there's a debate club meeting. 
and that's from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Wow, that's a long time. I think we might try the ultimate horse competition first before we go to that. And the reason for that being we haven't had a bronze trophy. I don't know if bronze is going to be hard to get, but we already have silver and gold. I didn't practice debating for two hours, but I got credit for it, so who cares? Oh, we didn't place. Okay, I didn't make him confident before we went. And we got silver medal with butterscotch. Ha, ah, this is going to be annoying. I want a bronze. Give me a bronze. The debate events seem to be pretty slow. There's not a whole lot you can do in order to advance your place in the organization. So she's just barely a seasoned member. Christopher, why are you standing right in front of me? That is so rude. Thank you for moving. Okay, the debate guild, okay, debate practice is in four days. So the next thing is the spirit core thing, but I need to prank the rival statue. Well, I have to clean it up first, and then we'll toilet paper it. Okay, good. There's some rivals here I can taunt. Okay, she's a rival. Where do I taunt her from? Oh, the menu is just terrible. I'm pretty sure it's not a friendly interaction. I know I've taunted a rival student before, but for some reason, it is not showing up this time. I can give competition advice, but that doesn't seem right. I thought it was under the mean category. No, we are not playing ping pong. All right, well, I have no idea what's going on here. I can be mean to the other students, but for some reason, I just cannot taunt the rivals. Last time there was no rivals here. This time there's rivals here, but I can't taunt them. Oh, they're getting into a fight for some reason. But they're on the same team. That's kind of weird. All right, well, if I can't do anything that's going to get me points, then what's the point of being here? Oh, I can play ping pong and that? <laughs> okay. Play juice pong then. Okay, I didn't realize that playing juice pong would get me points. And now I am a seasoned member. <laughs> the game ended early because too many players wanted to quit. Okay. It's because of the stupid juice keg. Yeah, and fights breaking out actually disturb my ping pong. I think I'm going to have to challenge one of you to ping pong. Oh, there's the lobster. Maybe I can taunt him. Ooh, I can prank him with stink spray. Oh, it's 7 p.m. Well, the Spirit Corps is supposedly having a bar night in a couple of hours. Maybe I can get some more points there. Well, it's almost the end of the week, and we're just hanging out at the bar with some of our Spirit Corps friends, even though they're not really friends. <laughs> we are just a little bit hated in the Spirit Corps for Stuart! Anyway, we are just a little bit hated in the Spirit Corps, and this guy will not stop plaguing me. We're, he's not He's still a teen, and we're no longer a teen, Stuart. You can stop hanging around me. He shouldn't be allowed at university bars at night. Well, anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching. <laughs>